Hi guys, Erin again. I am here to talk to you a little bit about why it's so important to book up your June calendar. So I know how tempting it can be around this time of the year to be like, things are so busy, school is ending, you know, there's a lot of events going on. And to be quite honest, the weather's getting nice and there's a million places you'd rather be other than running a business or working or doing anything. So it's easy to say, I'm gonna take a step back for the summer, I'm gonna enjoy the summer, and then in the fall I'll pick back up. Or, you know, I'm gonna take a step back and, you know, just take stop trying to book parties and I'll pick it back up in the fall. But take it from me, someone that's been around for about seven years, if you do that, your business is not gonna pick up the way you want it to. This business is all about momentum. And I've told you guys before that it's so much easier to maintain momentum than it is to build it. So once you pull your foot back and you let that momentum settle and you have to build it back up again, it's so much harder. If you just stay consistent and intentional through the summer, I'm not saying you gotta work your, every day. I'm not saying you have to do maybe as much as you would in the fall, but you have to not stop. You have to stay intentional and you have to make sure you're continuously booking parties. Otherwise, when the full catalog launches in September and you're like, all right, I'm ready to do my parties again, you're literally gonna start from scratch. Like, remember what you had to do when you first signed up to get those parties? Except it's not gonna be new anymore and people aren't gonna be as excited for you as they were then. And then when October, November, December come and everyone is selling out the yin yang because it's holiday, you're still gonna be trying to pick that momentum back up. So you wanna make sure that you're intentional with booking your June calendar. You wanna make sure that you're utilizing double host rewards, that you're utilizing the shared rewards, that you're utilizing the summer products that we have and that the air fryer is back to really make sure you're putting a little bit into your business every day, that you're doing one of these 15 minute blocked power hours at least one day a week, ideally five days a week. All it takes is an hour a day. You don't have to commit six, eight hours a day to this. And you don't have to do it every day either. And guys, you could work your business from anywhere. I was working my business from the park with the kids in the sprinkler today. Like you don't need to be a, a stay at home mom at the computer at home. You could do it if you're working on the, on the ride home on the bus, on the train, or depending on how you get back and forth to work. Or if you're home with the babies, you could do it while your kids are napping. It's all about finding those 15 minute pockets of time so you can squeeze a power hour into your day. Because if you squeeze a power hour into your day, you're intentional with your June bookings, then those June bookings are gonna ensure you those July and August bookings. And the July and August bookings are gonna take you through the holiday. Because what you do today shows in three months. So what you're doing in June is what's going to make your September happen. And who wants to have an amazing fall, right? So what are you doing to make sure you have a great June?